Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Fruitopia. It's uh, the weekend and we're almost at the end of the first month of autumn. Can you believe it? How quick that was? Here's the uh, Hass Avocado. I'm standing up on a railing right I'm about um, three meters up and level with the um, the Hass so as you can see it's grown into a nice big tree so today we're gonna be dealing with that tree right there that's the uh, Jujubi We've been feasting on the fruit now for a couple of weeks. Uh, Mid-March is when they start coming. And now, closer to the end of March, they're, um, they're moving fast. So we've got to gobble, 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 right? It's gobble time. Let's get closer. Yeah. So this is the, the Chico variety. And it's fully packed, fully loaded. It just gets more and more prolific every year. And the tree grows um, even more every year. So it's a bit of a challenge trying to keep up with all the fruit. But uh, we're doing our best, guys. And um, I'm going to butcher it once we're done with uh, the harvesting. Because I really don't want it this big. It's too big. It's too much. It's too much everything. Too much tree and too much fruit. So next year, we'll take a look at it for the last time being this big. Because next year, it's going to be half the size. I don't want it, uh, as I said, in um, super size. Because we have a lot of other trees that are also nearby. Right? So, let's grab one. Mm. Can you hear the crunch? Yeah. So, you can have this at any stage. You can either have them green, if you don't like sweet, or you can have them brown which is much sweeter or you can go further and let them dry out um, which I haven't done but um, the darker they are the sweeter they are the chewier they are right here's a real dark one here and up there and over here so it all depends on your taste but um, I like them half half around this color here hang on i like them like that half brown half green so they have a crunch and they're more juicy too when they're um green yeah a nice problem to have another size tree but it also means work guys work for um, the pruning whoever's gonna prune it that happens to be me right every year this is not um, just once off the same with the dwarf so-called dwarf mulberry look how big it is that's meant to be a dwarf <laughs> mulberry and it's almost touching the the uh, native tamarind right it's over three, it's actually almost four meters, this dwarf mulberry tree. Okay, so that's the um, Chico. Pretty much um, standard, right? You pretty much know, well, if you know about Jujubi, crunch, crunch, right?
and so on. So over here I have the Lee, which is only a couple of years old. So it's only taken off now. And these are, I would say, 50% hmm, larger than a Chico in size, right? And this one is definitely ready. And on this side here, we have a couple which are um, half ready. Or you could have them now, as I said. Half white, half green, for me, is optimal. So I like crunch, guys. Oops, that one just fell. Oh, gosh. There you go. It's another beach day today. 24, 25 Celsius. So after I'm done with this video, it's uh, 11 in the morning. We'll be off to the beach. Hmm. Right. This is the Lee. Did I say that? Yeah. The Lee Jujube. It's much sweeter than the Chico. Hmm. Sweeter and larger. Chico is good too. They're very close. Hmm. There it is again. The ripe one with the green one on the lee, side by side. Yep. And they're very slippery. And then I have two small ones or two new ones, which I purchased um, uh, in early summer. That is uh, three, four months ago. The Shangxi Li which for some reason has not grown guys it's not grown at all I don't know what's going on um, I'm guessing something it doesn't like about the soil because I, I put it into native soil I didn't mix it with any fertilizer or potting mix and um, it's just not not happening it hasn't done, hasn't done anything all, all summer and the same with the other new jujube this one so i don't know what on earth is wrong with these two new um, plants that i got in um, um early summer this is the sherwood and it's just been drooping like this for three months not a happy camper at all the top's a little better, but I don't know. Do you guys have any idea? This is just native soil. Loam, right? And clay down down deep, but it's not touching clay. It was planted in um, loamy soil. I don't know. Don't know what's up. They've had sea sol every two weeks for the entire summer. In any case, back here with the um, the Chico, which is now um, eight years old. I've got a lot of trees that are eight years old. Have you noticed? <laughs> there was a lot of activity going on here with Fruitopia, setting everything up in 2012 to 2014. I was very busy those three years, planting, 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 right? Planting the Jabuticaba planting the pomelo, planting, um, well, the jujube, um, the pink guava back there, a lot of action in the early 2010s, yeah, so a lot of them are 8 to 10 years old now, guys, so that's why I encourage you to start planting ASAP, so you too can have an 8 year old tree, before you know it, rather than thinking about it and uh, not taking action. Okay guys, that's about it for today. Take care, enjoy your weekend and get planting. 
and I'm gonna pick some of these to bring inside. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I appreciate the subscriptions. And uh, we'll see you from the next video, guys. Bye-bye now.